is up everyone i hope you're all doing amazing i hope you're all doing well welcome back to the channel and if you're new i'm your main man just jack so there's a game called the jelly bean challenge and if you don't know what the jelly bean challenge is basically if you haven't heard of bean beezled there's a game called bean beezled in one of my vlogs i showed you the game but basically bean beezled is where you get jelly beans and you either get a horrible flavor or a really nice flavor and me and kelly was in town and kelly picked this game up which is double dares so this one is just as like bean boozled but you get more jelly beans in it so you get yeah. rotten milk or tutti frutti watermelon or snot cola or cat food caramel or farts ew <laughs> blueberry or toothpaste sound that bad though or strawberry and fresh blood fresh blood it's like fresh prints in it i was thinking more vampire diaries <laughs> yeah damon so, and stefan would have loved this game so yeah they Anyway, before we get into the game, we actually have added a little bit of a twist to the game. So we're not just going to be eating the jelly beans on their own. So we've added a bit of a twist to the game, and I actually can't remember what the twist is. <laughs> so I'll go ahead and I'll let Kelly explain. So obviously we've got to eat the jelly beans, which some are nice and some are awful. So instead of just, you know, going through and eating them, I have like on the laptop some flash cards. So there's like questions and then you flip the card and you get the answer. So say for example, Jack gets one of the questions wrong. He has to eat a jelly bean. If I get it right, I don't have to. But he might be lucky and get a nice jelly bean. But he's, there's a 50% chance that he might get a awful jelly bean. So either way, if I'm right, I could get a nice jelly bean or I could get a wrong jelly bean. Mm. And we have a bowl just in case we need to spit it out and some water and some water <laughs> see i usually have a strong stomach but the last time well the first time and the last time we played this which I was actually, the bean boozled one i actually felt sick but let's open the packaging oh. Oh. What's in the box? Oh, what's in the box? There we go. By the way, if you're wondering why we've got a bit of a different setting, this was one of my original background settings when I did reactions or challenges, mainly because it's too dark upstairs to film. Yeah. Okay, so we have the jelly beans. Let's open the box. At 90 grams of sugar, per 100 gram. There we are. Oh, they look good though. Yeah, but they're probably not. If I didn't know any better, I would like, and if I was unhealthy, I, I would like, and I love sweets, which I did, I'd probably just down on them thinking they're just normal jelly beans. Mm -hmm. Okay, we'll just put them, place them in front of us. Double dares. Jelly beans take your chances. Yeah, that should be enough. So, there's all the jelly beans that we have on the table oh my god i can smell them already oh my god they smell awful oh can you smell that sorry we don't have 4d but yeah <laughs> <laughs> there's all our jelly beans and we're back oh my god i can actually smell them i need that box <laughs> oh they actually smell as we just showed you then we've got all the jelly beans out we're not gonna you know waste any time by lining up them in order we'll just check back on this box pick out the color so we have one each if we get a question wrong at the same time and we'll go from there. Sure. I forgot to mention the questions are Christmas themed because it's, oh, yeah. it's Christmas time so it's um, Christmas trivia. So the first... I don't know the song. <laughs> so the first question is did Rudolph have antlers? I'm gonna say no. I'm gonna say no. Our only being is I think, um, I don't know, I don't know why, I don't know, I just, uh, no, I'm going to say no. <laughs> I, I say no. I was going to have a clever answer of why I said no, but. Okay, let's find out. Oh! oh. <laughs> no, because he had a bandage on his ear, is, oh that's on his ears, isn't it, that is antlers. So as you can probably guess by our reaction, we were wrong. <laughs> Either so, way, we got to eat a jelly bean. Let's pick out a white one for you. And I want to pick out a white one for you. And a white one for me. So we have a white one. This could be either rotten milk or tutti frutti. Ding. I've won a double tingle. Ding, ding. Three, two, you just got to go for it. One. Yes! 
Did you get two for it then? Yeah. That's five, me too. Well, I need to find that jelly bean. This is a good start. That is really nice. I want some more of them. I bet this one, a drop, <laughs> would have been rotten egg. I do like that. Oh, mm. I'm glad I dropped it. That was nice. I like that. Okay. Next question. What were the Christmas candies called? See, I don't know if that's referring to anything, but all I can think of is candy canes. Are you going to go with me? Are you going to pick your own? I don't know. I'm, I'm just going to say with you. Candy um, cane. Sugar plums. <laughs> what? what the hell? Um, so, now we will get... I'm going to go for the blue one. Which is either blueberry or toothpaste. Go. go. I got toothpaste, but it's not that bad. I got toothpaste. It's just like a mint. It's literally just like... It is. It just tastes like a mint. So I can hardly say that's a bad one. Result. So, so far we're doing well. <laughs> yeah, result. I like that. that was Imagine nice. if we went through the whole game, just getting good ones. That would be amazing. Mm. <laughs> right. Next question. Which country made egg milk? Scotland. Actually, you think Scotland? I'm going to say Scotland. I actually have no idea, but I'm going to go with a foreign country. So I'm going to say Germany. I'm going to say Scotland. Let's Go. flip the card. America, America. Oh. of course. <laughs> I thought it was Scotland. I thought it was a Scottish thing. I was thinking America as well. Why did I say it? Go for a green one, people. Which is either watermelon or, or snot. snot. I don't like either of them. Oh, please. <laughs> please not be snot. I hate buggers. You mentioned anything about eating snot. Don't. <laughs> I said it so much one time and it was literally gagging for about five minutes. <laughs> so funny. Please don't. Please. But I'm not really keen on watermelon, but I'd rather get... I like watermelon. I don't know what snot tastes like. Watermelon keeps me in shape. Okay. It doesn't. Chicken Let's go. Is. Nice. Okay. <laughs> is that what oh. snot tastes like? I don't know, I've never tasted it. I got watermelon. Uh, yes. Whoever eats their snots is gross. Jake. <laughs> Have no. you ever had watermelon? Yeah. You know the taste difference? Uh huh. I like watermelon. Thank you, Double Dares. But it was right. nasty. Okay, next question. What's the most popular item on the Christmas tree? It could be lights, chocolate, candy canes, or the little angel at top. What's, what are you going to say? I'm going to say, looking at my Christmas tree. I'm going to say the angel on top. Wait, do, I, do everyone put angel on top of the Christmas tree? Or is that just no, some, some, people? some people put stars, some people put angels. Oh. So what are you going to go with, final answer? Stars. I'm going to go with baubles. Oh, I forgot about baubles. You can't change it. Oh. You can't change it. Angel. angel. Oh. oh, I should have stuck with angel. My mom's an angel. <laughs> My dad's the devil. What's that phone called? Little Nicky. Little Nicky. So now we will go for the brown one which is either cola or cat food. Oh my god, cat food. I remember when we had this last time. Or was it dog food? It was dog food. It was dog last food. Time. Maybe we'll buy Bean Boozled and we'll play that and we'll do another like sort of themed, but not Christmas. Do you know what though? Like, they don't even have a smell, so you can't even, you can't even smell if they're bad or not. Three, two, wait, wait, wait. Let's be a posh. One. One. Hold that off. It tasted bad at first, but now it tasted bad at first, but then, then oh no, wait. <laughs> Too After meal. taste. Next question: How many wise men were there? I'm not that wise, so I don't know. Wait, is that in the, Je G Jesus, the Jesus story? Right. <laughs> the Jesus story, yeah. Three. I'm gonna say, oh no, wait, that's three blind mice. I'm gonna say five. I'm going to say three. Let's reveal the answer. The Bible doesn't say. Does that. It, doesn't it? <laughs> well, we both got that wrong. Go yeah. for the red one. Yeah, red one. So this one's either strawberry or fresh blood. Where did they even get fresh blood to put the flavour in? You sickos. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> oh. That didn't even taste like blood. 
No, it doesn't. It just that does not taste like fresh blood. It just tastes awful. Vampires, you are weird people. That's not blood. That tastes like aniseed. Oh no, it doesn't. I like aniseed. That tastes awful. Oh, that was minging. Alabama. Next question. Where did Mary and Joseph go? Bethlehem. I'm going to say Bethlehem too. Okay, so we're both saying Bethlehem. Bethlehem. Egypt! Egypt. <laughs> what the f I don't think that's right. Whoever put these whoever put these questions on, I don't think that's right. Oh no, it was Egypt. How is it Egypt? I'm not a dare to say it sound clever. Anyway, we're going Wait, for these let, ones. Let me let me just Google that a minute. Let me just Google that. Did Mary and Joseph go to Egypt? The flight into Egypt is a story recounted in the Gospel of Matthew and in the New Testament Apocrypha. Soon after the visit, this doesn't make it. Oh, okay. That, it, it, I guess it's kind of a trick question. An angel appeared to Joseph in a dream telling him to flee to Egypt with Mary and the infant, Jesus, since King Herod would seek the child to kill him. So it's kind of right. It's yeah. just a trick question. So... I'm still taking on my answer, Bethlehem. <sighs> Bean. Bean me. <laughs> okay, so this is either caramel or fat, and I love caramel. I'm, I'm, not, caramel. I'm, not, I'm not too keen on farts myself. <laughs> Go. I think mine's caramel too. Oh, that's very nice. Mmm, good not taste like Yeah, it does actually. Next question. The first state to recognise the Christmas holiday officially was where? So it obviously means it's an American area. <laughs> New York. I'm going to say... Think hard about this. You love New York. America. Oh wait, that's the same place. I'm going to say New York. I'm going to say... God, this is hard, thinking of how many states there are. I'll just pick one. I'm going to say... Just go for it. Colorado. And I don't know why. It's the first one that popped into my head. I'm going to say... Never ending story. No, you're not. Okay, New York. Go. White jelly bean, which means rotten milk or tutti frutti. And so it is... <gasps> I was thinking about that one as well. I didn't say that. I was actually thinking about Alabama as well. I'm the best. Next question. The man who is in control of the naughty and nice list. We all know that. It's not a trick question, it can't be. Elves. Final answer. Elves? Elves. Alright. Because they report back to the big guy. I'm going to say Santa. Let's go for... No, I'm actually not even joking. A blue I'm one. Elves because I'm pretty sure. Get right. a blue one. Which is either watermelon, no it's not. Blueberry or toothpaste? Please do blueberry. Let's find out the answer. Santa! It said the man, not little men. <coughs> yeah, toothpaste. Again. It's not even that bad though. Yeah, but. They taste like toothpaste. Yeah. <laughs> That's the point. <laughs> what was your one? Right. Since we're good to you, and you probably like to see us feeling sick and being grossed out by these jelly beans, we're going to eat one of each. So, Hi. so there's our six jelly beans, one of each. In three, two, <coughs> one. Oh my god, I've got a fat. Oh man, I'm good. I've got a watermelon too. Oh, I just bit into one bad one. It was going so well. I've got a mixture of fat and watermelon. I'm pretty sure I just bit into a snack one. Eat a fat one. What the fuck? One. Mm 
<laughs> See, at first it was just like jelly bean, and then I could taste fat, and then I could taste watermelon, and that's it. I can't do it. <laughs> Guys, this is where we're going to call the end of the video as it is 20 to 2 in the morning. I hope you enjoyed this one, guys. We enjoyed playing it. We enjoyed mm -hmm. doing it. Yep. And that was the third edition Double Dares Jelly Beans. Take your chances. So, if you haven't already, pick them up. Quite fun. You never know what you're going to get. With that said, since this was the Jelly Bean Challenge, if you guys want to see any food challenges, let us know down in the comments below and we will make it happen. I promise you the guys that right now, if you want to see any food challenges, you let me know down in the comments and I will make it happen. That's a Just Jack promise. So with that said, if you're new, I'm your main man Just Jack. And if you are new and you like my content, then don't forget to smash that subscribe button. Hit that little notification bell. It'll let you know every single time I upload. And whilst you're at it, don't forget to drop a like on this video and comment down below what you want to see in the next video. I'll see you all later guys. I'll see you in the next video. Bye. 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 <laughs>